Special greetings, my good friends in Christ. May God bless you. I came across a video I saw verbal war. I did not understand what uh, actually caused the letter issue. I thought this topic had been buried. The issue of uh, Prince Emeka and Evangelist Ebukobi and Mr. Matthias Ezak. I thought that the issue was dead and buried. Now, I want to ask, why are we making issues out of nothing? Let us behave wisely. Because wise people prefer solutions in the face of troubles. Why are wise ones promote trouble from bad to worse? All of us have different wings in this life. Like the players in the football pitch. There is no need for clash of powers or destinies. Everyone should mind his or her own duty post. That's the way I see the picture of this life. Evangelist Bukobi is an evangelist doing the work of God. Mr. Matthias Ezak is a traditionalist and a trader. And Prince Mekane is an actor who urgently needs spiritual and the financial help. Now, Evangelist Bukobi has offered his own help. And Mr. Matthias Ezako had promised to offer his own. Then what is the case now? Evangelist Ebukobi offered spiritual and financial help. Mr. Matthias Ezako promised financial and medical help. Let them go on with the ones they can do. Spirituality aside, we need ourselves in one way or the other. Can we put an sponge to this misunderstanding? We need ourselves. Now I want to ask Mr. Matthias Ezago, if you hate Christianity with this kind of passion, and the best doctor that will offer you medical services is a Christian, will you reject him or will you accept it? If your car is spoiled or you have a flat tire in a lonely road, in a thick forest, and the vulcanizer available or automobile engineer is a Christian, will you accept their services or will you reject it? and remain stranded in that lonely road. No matter the business Mr. Matthias Ezako does, I challenge him, majority of his customers are Christians, I tell you. We Barbadans are my friend as well. You are numerous followers are Christians. Come on, we are brethren, my good friends. We are human beings created in God's image. We have one thing in common. We need to help one another, irrespective of our religion. That is the key point in this message. Now, I, Bro Chibo, want to prove to a non-Christian that the love of Christ is the ultimate. I will not be toxic. I need to apply the spiritual mechanisms that will lubricate that love, such as humility, endurance, self-control, patience, correction in good manners. With this, one can be convinced. A non-Christian can be converted. My candid advice to Evangelist Ebukobi, one name Mado, Diochi, my brother, do not be discouraged. Do not be distracted. Do not be defocused. If there is no battle along your way, then your calling is not divine. Rubber band they must be stretched before it will be useful. Palm fruits must be pounded in a mortar before it will produce oil. Gold must pass through fire before the rain quality will be showcased. And by the way, Lipton tea must enter hot water before the original color will come out. I say again, do not be discouraged. And I will also like you to advise your members not to be toxic in responding to people, your attackers. It is not part of our conduct, my brother. God gave Satan approval to tempt Job. He gave him the approval. Not once. Who knows who Mr. Matthias is? All these things might be to examine your spiritual stamina, to evaluate you. Without persecution, promotion will not come, my brother. And no one should be cursed. Rather, we are meant to bless. Our Lord Jesus Christ in his ministry did not curse anyone, except fig tree. Even the Pharisees that had plots of death against him. He was only telling them, woe to you people, troubles to you people. Let us forgive one another, help one another. As in Dibu, even they say Bukobi will leave. Mr. Matthias Ezak will leave, and Prince Emekani will also leave. Love is the greatest weapon we can use and win all the battles. Election is the subject matter we have now at hand. Let us face it. My name is Brother Paul Chibo. Shalom. Brother,
Fourth Ward Entertainment Production.